Now we move to stories around the continent, this time from Kenya, continuing with our Children's Day special broadcast. We have Margarita Howie bringing us the latest from the country. A pledge has been made by the Kenyan Ministry of Environment and Forestry to plant an additional 1.8 billion trees by 2022. As a move towards reversing biodiversity loss, this pledge was stated by Kariako Tobiko, Cabinet Secretary in the Ministry of Environment and Forestry of Kenya. On the occasion of the International Day of Biological Diversity, reports reveal that some 420 hectares of forest have been lost through conversion to other land used since 1990. And although the rate of deforestation is said to be slowing down, the COVID-19 crisis appears to have thrown up the importance of nature con conservation, especially as relates to the ecosystem health. In other stories, Reverend Paul Mashira, the pioneer of what has come to be known as the Balcony to Balcony Church in Kenya, has taken to the streets amidst the COVID-19 pandemic to ensure that church goes on lockdown or no lockdown. It is a move that has gained momentum since his first service in mid-March when Kenya's first case of COVID-19 was found. Rather than concede the cutting of fellowship of believers, he has embraced the opportunity of going to the streets and says that in this, he is emulating the lifestyle of Jesus. The Balcony to Balcony movement has seen the street pastor visiting 16 locations so far, and he says he has observed growth in the children he interacts with. Those are our selected stories from Kenya. My name is Harry Margarita, reporting for Children's Day Special News Report.